What if I told you that all this fruit was harvested from one tree over the course of just one week? This is the Tree of Forty Fruit, an art project by Syracuse professor and artist Sam Van Aken. Growing up on a farm in central New York, Van Aken had always been fascinated by the technique of plant grafting, a process by which two or more plant specimens can be joined to grow together. He spent a couple of years scouring New York State for rare cultivars of the Prunus family. Things like almonds, apricots, cherries, nectarines, peaches, and plums. He kept adding grafts of these trees to the same host until, voila, the tree of 40 fruit. Producing so many different fruits means that different parts of the tree bloom at different parts of the year, with at least some part of the tree producing fruit all the way from July through October. Van Aken has made 75 specimens so far. Knowing their seasonality allows Van Aken to sculpt their blooming times. So this TikToker has pointed out something that's really, really amazing. And that is the degree to which our agricultural technology has advanced. There's only one problem with this though. And that's the fact that this isn't profitable. Now, I want to be clear. In the long run, this is something that has immense value and could, if implemented in the right way, have immense value for society as a whole. I mean, imagine parks full of trees where there's always fruits or vegetables blooming. Imagine an entire forest in your neighborhood of food that is always there and ever present so you could forage for basically everything you needed to eat. Now, if you say, Ben, how could we manage such a large population and use these types of agricultural techniques? Well, the reality is people in America have actually done that before. That's, of course, when explorers came to, to America, they found that indigenous people here had actually carefully crafted all of the forests around them such that it was a full ecosystem of ever plentiful food. There was always something in bloom. There was always something that was fruiting. There was always something that people could go and forage for and that was because of very meticulous efforts on the part of indigenous folks to make sure that the forests around them were healthy forests that constantly had food growing. What seemed like pure wilderness was actually highly skillfully cultivated forest. The reason why we're not doing this all around the country today is because it's not profitable. It turns out it's just a lot more profitable to burn down huge chunks of the forest, grow a bunch of cash crops, and make easy money. But the reality is, it's not even like it would be overly costly to do things like this. It just wouldn't necessarily be profitable. This type of thing requires a lot of front-end work and then a lot less back end work. Cultivating a forest takes time and energy, but once that time and energy is spent, you've developed an ecosystem that is self-sustaining, which is really something that would be great for like a government jobs program to help give people temporary jobs to maybe cultivate some forest in such a way that the long-term impact would be a lot more food security and people not really having to worry about going hungry. And to make it even better, you could even have school children participating in this program, learning how to cultivate a forest, they would not only learn very useful agricultural techniques, but they could also learn about the natural environment that we all live in. But once again, the reason why they won't do things like this is because not only is it not profitable, but if food was all over the place growing on trees, people might buy a little bit less of it. And so of course, in a capitalist system, we can't have sustainable agriculture because we have to have profitable agriculture. We can't have these magic 40 fruit trees because people would much rather you buy your 40 fruits at the store. So what this TikToker has really demonstrated is that the future is right here and right now. We're just not seeing it because capitalism doesn't want it because it turns out that a future of abundance just isn't profitable. This is Ben Corolla with Rebel Headquarters. You can catch my show Galaxy Brain on the Young Turks Twitch channel every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to stay up to date with my content, you can follow me at Benjamin Corolla on Twitter. And for those of you that might be wondering or have noticed, my pronouns are in fact she, her.